In this video, you will understand how macrolides work. But first, here are a few questions you may be curious to know. Why are macrolides often the go-to choice for respiratory infections? How do these antibiotics manage to target atypical bacteria so effectively? What should you be cautious about when prescribing them? Macrolides are a class of antibiotics with a unique mechanism of action and a broad spectrum of activity, making them useful in the treatment of various infections. Macrolides, including azithromycin, clarithromycin, and erythromycin, are primarily known for their efficacy in treating community-acquired pneumonia with atypical coverage, uncomplicated skin, and soft tissue infections, and certain sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea, often in combination with ceftriaxone. They are effective against some gram-positive bacteria, such as streptococcus and staphylococcus species, and are particularly distinguished for their action against atypical pathogens like mycoplasma, legionella, and chlamydophila. Additionally, macrolides cover certain gram-negative bacteria, such as Haemophilus influenzae, chlamydia, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, and Helicobacter pylori, although they lack activity against MRSA, Enterococci, Pseudomonas, and anaerobes. The mechanism of action of macrolides involves binding to the 50S subunit of bacterial ribosomes, inhibiting crucial processes such as transpeptidation, translocation, and chain elongation, ultimately leading to the inhibition of bacterial protein synthesis. This action makes them particularly effective against bacteria that rely heavily on protein production for survival and replication. However, caution is warranted when prescribing macrolides. They can cause adverse effects like QT, interval prolongation, and hepatotoxicity. Erythromycin and clarithromycin are potent CYP3A4 inhibitors and may interact with other medications metabolized by this pathway such as statins and colchicine, leading to potentially serious drug interactions. Additionally, renal adjustment may be required, and azithromycin should be avoided in patients with a history of cholestatic jaundice. In summary, macrolides are an essential component of antimicrobial therapy, offering broad coverage and a unique mechanism of action. Understanding their spectrum, indications, and potential adverse effects is crucial for their effective and safe use in clinical practice. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insightful medical guides.